What happened to the glorious civilization that brought us democracy, the Olympics, and those amazing philosophers? The ancient Greece was the superpower of its time, but like all empires, things eventually changed. From constant internal conflicts and devastating wars to economic struggles and powerful external threats, the fall of Greece was no simple event. So, buckle up and join us on this journey through history to uncover the factors that led to the end of an era. Let's get started. One of the main reasons for the decline of ancient Greece was its internal conflicts. Unlike a unified nation, ancient Greece was made up of numerous city-states, known as polis. Each polis, such as Athens, Sparta, Thebes, and Corinth, operated independently, with its own government, laws, and customs. These city-states often found themselves in competition, and this rivalry frequently escalated into conflict. A prime example of such internal strife is the Peloponnesian War. This was a protracted and destructive conflict between two of Greece's most powerful city-states, Athens and Sparta. The war lasted from 431 to 404 BCE and had devastating consequences for both sides. The constant fighting drained resources, weakened armies, and left both Athens and Sparta vulnerable. The Peloponnesian War didn't just affect these two cities. It dragged in allies and other city-states like Thebes and Corinth, spreading chaos and destruction across much of Greece. The long-term impacts of the Peloponnesian War were profound. Athens, once a dominant maritime power, never fully recovered its former glory. Sparta, despite emerging victorious, was left weakened and unable to maintain control over the other Greek states. This fragmentation and weakening of the city-states meant that Greece was less able to defend itself against external threats and less capable of acting as a unified force. Furthermore, these internal conflicts led to political instability and a lack of trust among the city-states. Alliances were fragile and often shifted, making it difficult for any lasting peace or cooperation to take hold. This constant state of conflict and political turmoil eroded the stability of Greek society and government. Another crucial factor in the decline of ancient Greece was its economic troubles. The constant fighting destroyed farmland, disrupted trade routes, and left much of the population struggling to survive. The economic impact of these wars was devastating and long-lasting. During times of conflict, many city-states poured their resources into maintaining and equipping their armies. This focus on military spending meant that less attention and investment were given to agriculture, trade, and other essential aspects of the economy. Farmlands were often ravaged by invading forces, leading to food shortages and driving up the cost of basic necessities. As a result, many ordinary Greeks found it increasingly difficult to make a living. Social inequality also played a significant role in the economic decline. The gap between the rich and the poor widened as the wealthy elite accumulated more land and resources, while the majority of the population struggled with poverty. This growing disparity led to social unrest and instability. Discontent among the lower classes sometimes erupted into uprisings and revolts, further weakening the social fabric of Greek society. Trade, which had once been a major strength of Greek city-states, also suffered. The constant state of war made sea routes unsafe, and many trading partners were hesitant to engage with the unstable region. The decline in trade meant that essential goods and resources became scarcer and more expensive, exacerbating the economic woes. In addition to internal conflicts and economic decline, external threats played a significant role. The rise of powerful neighbors and the inability of the fragmented Greek city-states to present a united front made them vulnerable to outside invasions and conquests. One of the most significant external threats came from the north, the Macedonian conquest led by Philip II. Philip II was a shrewd and ambitious leader who recognized the disunity among the Greek city-states and exploited it. By using both military force and strategic alliances, he managed to bring most of Greece under Macedonian control. The decisive Battle of Cheronea in 338 BCE marked a turning point, where the combined forces of Athens and Thebes were decisively defeated by Philip's army. This battle effectively ended the independence of the Greek city-states and paved the way for his son, Alexander the Great, 
to create one of the largest empires in history. While Macedon was a dominant force, it was not the only external threat that Greece faced. The rise of Rome further overshadowed Greece. As Rome expanded its influence across the Mediterranean, it eventually set its sights on Greece. In a series of conflicts known as the Macedonian Wars, Rome systematically dismantled Macedonian power and extended its control over Greece. By 146 BCE, after the destruction of Corinth, Greece was fully integrated into the Roman Republic as the province of Achaea. These external threats did not just conquer Greek lands, they also absorbed and transformed Greek culture. The Romans, in particular, admired Greek art, philosophy, and science, and integrated these elements into their own culture. While Greek influence persisted, the political and military independence of the Greek city-states was lost forever. Cultural shifts also played a significant role in the decline of ancient Greece. Following the conquests of Alexander the Great, the Greek world entered the Hellenistic period, which marked a significant transformation in Greek culture. During the Hellenistic period, Greek culture blended with those of the conquered territories, creating a new cosmopolitan society. While this era was marked by great achievements in art, science, and philosophy, the traditional city-state structure and the sense of Greek identity began to erode. The blending of cultures diluted the distinctiveness of Greek customs, language, and social norms. This loss of a unified cultural identity made it harder for the Greek people to rally together in the face of external threats. Additionally, the Hellenistic kings, who ruled the various regions carved out of Alexander's empire, often adopted the customs and titles of Eastern monarchs, distancing themselves from the democratic and republican traditions of the Greek city-states. The cultural shift also affected religion and philosophy. Traditional Greek religious practices began to intermingle with those of other cultures, leading to new religious syncretism. Philosophical schools like Stoicism and Epicureanism gained popularity, focusing more on individual contentment and less on civic duty and participation. These changes in thought and belief further fragmented the once cohesive Greek society. Natural disasters and plagues were some of the other vital factors. One of the most impactful events was the Plague of Athens, which struck in 430 BCE during the Peloponnesian War. This devastating epidemic killed a large portion of the Athenian population, including their influential leader, Pericles. The plague not only weakened Athens militarily, but also caused widespread panic and despair. Beyond plagues, Greece was also vulnerable to natural disasters such as earthquakes. The region's seismic activity could lead to the destruction of cities, farmlands, and infrastructure, which further strained an already struggling society. The combination of plagues and natural disasters contributed to a decline in population, economic instability, and a general sense of insecurity. These events weakened the resilience of Greek society, making it harder to recover from other challenges like wars and invasions. In conclusion, the decline of ancient Greece was the result of a complex interplay of factors. Together, these elements spelled the end of one of history's most influential civilizations. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update.